Now let us see these five examples. Construction of CFG for a land base. The first example is any number of A's over the set sigma is equal to A. Uh, let us see that example. Any number of A's over the set sigma is equal to A. So here the sigma is given. Input alphabet is equal to A. Uh, let us see the language here. Any number of A's means uh, zero number of A's also. Zero number of A's means epsilon. 1A, next to 2As, next to 3As, so on. The regular expression for this language is uh, the regular expression is A star. So A star means any number of A's including zero number of A's. Now our target is we have to construct CFG for this language. So for this language we have to construct the CFG. So for that purpose, let us write production rules, production rules, production rules denoted by P. The first production rule is starting symbol S implies, here the minimum string is A, so A, single A, so after A we can have two A's, we can get two A's by recursively calling this S start symbol. S implies A S. And next here, what is the first string? Zero number of A's, epsilon. So S implies epsilon. So these two are the production rules. So we can write these production rules here as like this also. S implies A S R epsilon. S implies A S R epsilon. Now let us take, uh, now let us write the context free grammar. Context free grammar is represented by G is equal to V comma T comma P comma S. So V means variables, non-terminals. Here the non-terminal is S comma terminal is A. And production rule, we have two productions. Those two productions are denoted by P. P and the starting symbol is S. Now let's check a string and let's check whether the string is correct or not. So let us uh, write here. Let the string is triple A. So starting symbol S produces AS, S produces A. What is S? S means AS, AS, AA. What is S? S means AS. Here our target is to derive a string triple A. So triple A. So in order to stop the process, in, in place of S, substitute epsilon. So triple A into epsilon is equal to triple A. So that is the string. So in this way we can construct CFG for this language any number of A's. Now let us see the second example. Construct CFG for a language having any number of A's and B's. Here we have A's and B's also. So input alphabet majorly contains two symbols. Sigma is equal to A comma B. Let us write the language L is equal to so zero occurrences of A's and B's are nothing but epsilon. Next one occurrence of A, A one occurrence of B, B. Next, uh, let us take, let us consider a string whose length is two by adding by combining these two. A B, B A, A A, B B. Next A A B. Likewise, we can take n number of strings. Okay. So the regular expression for this language is here we have a plus b whole star any number of a's and b's including zero number of a's and b's that is nothing but epsilon. So for this we have to uh, construct the CFG. So first let us write production rule p production rule p. So starting symbol s implies here any number of a's any number of a's is denoted by a by recursively calling this uh, starting symbol AS R any number of B's is denoted by BS R here what is the first production first st string epsilon epsilon so th these are uh, these are the production rules any number of A's means AS any number of B's means BS for termination we are using epsilon okay why because here any number of A's and B's including zero occurrence 
zero occurrence is nothing but epsilon. So the context free grammar is Z is equal to V. Non terminals are only one non terminal, yes. Next terminals are two terminals, A, B. Next production rule P, starting symbol, yes. Now let us check A, A, B and let us check whether that string is uh, uh, correctly derived or not. A, A, B. So yes implies A, yes. So here we have uh, A. Next we need yes. So substitute A, yes. A, yes, yes implies A, A. Next we need to derive B. So that is why we use B, yes. B, yes. So A, B is over. Next, in place of yes, let us substitute epsilon. AAB into epsilon is nothing but AAB. So with this we can say that this context free grammar is correct only. Now let us see example 3. What is example 3? Construction of CFG for a language containing strings of at least two years. So here the grammar, here the language should contain at least minimum two years. Maximum, there is no restriction on A and B. But the language should contain minimum two years. Okay. So here the input alphabet contains two symbols, A, B, and the language is minimum two years. Maximum, there is no restriction. Maximum, there is no restriction on A's and B's. That means we can take. Okay. So what is the regular expression for this one? A, A, minimum two years. Next, before this, uh, uh, A, A, at least two years. Let us take A here. Let us take A here. So before this A and after this A, <laughs> we can have any number of A's and B's. Before and after this A, we can have any number of A's and B's. So A plus B, whole star. Any number of A's and B's. A plus B, whole star. Any number of A's and B's. A plus B, whole star. Any number of A's and B's. So before and after this A, before and after this A, we can have any number of A's and B's. Now let us uh, write the production rule. Yes implies here A plus B whole star. Any number of A's and B's means we know how to write. A's are B's. Uh, that, that, that cannot be written here. So that's why let us use another capital letter called A. Next we have small A. Next A plus B whole star means capital A. Next is small A. A plus B whole star means capital A. Here what is capital A? This is non terminal A. So what is A? Any number of A's and B's. Any number of A's and B's means any number of A's means A, any number of B's means B, A, or we can have epsilon for uh, feeding, for stopping the string. So in this way we can write the grammar, production rules, G is equal to, what is the grammar, what is V here, here V contains two non-terminals, S, yes, A, terminals are A, B, production rule is P, starting symbol is yes. So in this way we can write the grammar, Context free grammar for solving this problem. Now let us see the next example. One occurrence of triple zero. One occurrence of triple zero. So one occurrence of triple zero. So before this triple zero, we can have any number of zeros and ones. And after this triple zero, we can have any number of ones and ones. We can have any number of ones and uh, zeros. So yes implies. So any number of zeros and ones, let it be A. Next to triple zero, any number of zeros and ones, let it be A. So A implies any number of zeros means any number of zeros means zero A. Next any number of B's means any number of ones means one A. For stopping purpose, epsilon. Okay. So S yes implies this A means any number of zeros and uh, ones. Next to, after that triple zero A. So A means any number of zeros and ones. So likewise, we can solve the problem. Let us solve the last example. So context-free grammar is similar only, just like the previous examples. G is equal to B comma T comma P comma S. Next, set of strings with equal number of A's and B's. Here, the language contains equal number of A's and B's. Let us see the language. So single A, single B. Next, 1A, one 1B. One Next, AB, BA. So likewise, we can have Language should contain equal number of A's and B's. Okay. If number of A's are 3, number of B's are, are also 3. But there is no restriction on order. We can have A set front or middle or uh, last or B set front, middle, uh, last. There is no order here. So let us write the production rule. S implies 
Let the string starts with A. And after that, we can have corresponding B. So before this B, before this B, let us take this string. We can have any number of A's and B's. And after this B, we can have any number of A's and B's. Okay. So for that purpose, let us take a yes, yes. So here yes stands for any number of A's and B's. In this example, this yes means B. This yes means A. Or, or if you take another string, B, A, A, B. So here the grammar contains two A's and two B's. Let the string starting with B. So we can have corresponding A. We can have corresponding A, this A. Next, before this A, we can have any number of A's and B's. After this A, we can have any number of A's and B's. Next, we, for, for stopping purpose, for termination purpose, we can use epsilon. Okay. So let us take whether this is correct or not. Let us derive this string. A, B, B, A. So yes implies A, yes, B, yes. Next, A. After A, we have B. So let us take B, yes, A, yes, B, yes. So for this, yes, we have taken B, yes, A, yes. Next, A, B. A, B. What is the string here? What is the string we need to derive? A, B, B, A. A, B, B, A. So A, B. What is yes? Yes stands for epsilon. Let us take this A, let us take AB, AB, AB. Let us take the string AB, AB. So this is the uh, derived string. So likewise, we can derive uh, any string very, very easily. So in this way, we can construct CFG.